everyone, Tim Boris from Fresh Wellness Group. Today we're going to talk about habits, and particularly the habit loop. Now we all have habits in our life. Some are working for us, some are working against us, and some are neutral. But the fact is, we all have them. What people often misunderstand about habits is that they think they're hard to create and hard to break. That couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, there's a simple uh, science behind how habits work, and the habit loop explains that really clearly. So we, in the habit loop, we start out with a trigger, which creates a desire for some reward. And that re desire kicks our brain into the habit loop, uh, the, the automatic mode, I guess you'd call it. Which, by in terms, we have some routine that we perform, whether it's a physical, emotional, or mental response that produces that reward. That reward then feeds back on the trigger and says, hey, was, was our reward worth it for this, uh, for this action that we took? And we just continually go through that trigger, desire, routine, reward. And most of the time, we don't even think about it that it's happening. It's just there. The first step in changing it is to just step back and say, okay, what routines or habits do I have in my life? And then how do we change them? The most simple way to change them is to leave everything else the same except for the routine. Uh, if you normally get up and the first thing you do when you, uh, when you get up is to check your smartphone. It's just a habit. You don't even think about it anymore. You start to look for these things in your life. And when you see that, you can say, hmm, okay. Waking up, my alarm going off is the trigger. Uh, desire is I want to feel good or catch or see how many likes I got on posts or something like that is going to produce a feel good response. And so that's your routine uh, that you check your, your Facebook or your Instagram or your Twitter or whatever it is that produces that, that feedback. You can say, I'm just going to switch that routine. I'm going to get up and do a couple stretches or I'm going to think about my favorite memory or do a visualization and you'll still end up getting that feel good, you'll wake up, but you won't have checked your Facebook. And that's just one example. We can use it for exercise, nutrition, uh, at work, our family, our relationships. All kinds of things can come into play, and they all use the habit loop. So when we identify that, we're able to create the change we want. And it actually can, actually can change fairly quick. Now, on this topic of habits, if you want to learn more, Pillar number two of my book, The Fitness Curveball, dives right into habits. We talk about the habit loop, how they're created, all the different steps, but more importantly, the three key success habits that every person should have to perform at the best in their life. And we'll talk about that in another video. But check it out. You can go to thefitnesscurveball.com or timboris.com forward slash curveball. Pick up your copy. And it's a four-book series. Pillar number two dives right into habits. We'll chat soon.